Look at that. Oh, are you kidding me? What about that? Whoa! Man. Look at you. Look at you. Look at this. Oh, that's a pretty thing. y'all. That's gonna be some fine boys and pretty fish. Oh, golly. Oh, gone. Golly. Welcome to the show today, folks. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be learning how to identify the different species of catfish. Uh, the ones that I catch anyway. We're gonna start off with my favorite. My favorite is the flathead catfish. And it's my favorite because not only do they look cool, but man, they taste great. They taste great. Um, these catfish have a flathead, which is where they get their names. Some people call them Appaloosas around here as well. They have a beautiful color. Most of the ones I catch are this color. And then notice the tail. You see how the tail's flat? There's no fork in it. There's no fork in it. Um, there is a fish, when it's small, that resembles this fish and it's called a bullhead catfish but they only get a couple of pounds at, 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 at I'm, there may be three or four pounds of your biggest one um, some people call them speckle cat butter cat mud cat all types of different things so they have the flat tail but they don't get near as big and they don't have the mouth that the flathead has i don't know if you can see that mouth or not this is a small flathead but um man they have a mouth on them that's just unbelievable they can swallow whole baits these fish can swallow uh, a bait way bigger than you could ever imagine. Best eating fish in the creek to me, that's your flathead catfish. Your number two fish <clears throat> is your channel catfish. Channel catfish, when they're small, I want to show you a small one first. Channel catfish, when they're small, are easy to identify because they have spots on them. They have a forked tail. They have a forked tail, but they have spots on them. You see those spots? Uh, so that makes them pretty easy to identify when they're small. But when they get bigger, they lose those spots. And so when a catfish is like over 10 pounds, sometimes a channel cat is difficult to, to identify because they start sometimes looking like a blue catfish. And quite frankly, you don't really expect to catch a real big channel. So if you catch a channel that's 15 pounds or more, you're thinking, oh, this must be a blue cat. I don't know what this one weighs. He's big, he's probably at least 12 pounds. But this is a channel cat. He's got the uh, forked tail. Um, he's got the different color. I'll show you a blue cat in a minute. You see the color that he has there But the one thing I want you to really look at is that anal fin You see that anal fin there how it's curved It's not going to be curved on a blue cat and all those rays if you count those rays It's going to have like between 24 and 29 little rays on that anal fin right there And that's how you know for sure that it's a channel cat a lot of people argue if you see on Facebook they, they get on there and they argue Oh, that's not a channel cat, that's a blue cat. Well, the number one way to tell is just take your time and count those rays. It's not difficult to do at all. If it has less than 30, it's going to be a channel catfish. And that's a great channel catfish. Next, we have a big blue that I caught. This is a blue cat. This gets bigger than any of the other catfish around here. You can get well over 100 pounds. It has the forked tail that you can see right there has a little bit of a different color, but that can fool you at different times during spawning season and stuff like that, especially that can fool you. Again, look at the anal fin. See how the anal fin has the straight edge to it? Has a straight edge, but also the rays. This is gonna have more than 30 rays. A blue catfish is gonna have more than 30 rays in that anal fin. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you. That's the best way to have no doubt at all that what you caught was a blue catfish. Channel cat, blue cat, channel cat, blue cat, you can argue all day. If you count those rays, look, I mean, there's there's, there's no way. If, if it's a channel catfish, unless it's injured and has something torn off, it's gonna have 24 to 29 rays. If it's a blue catfish, it's gonna have over 30. All right, so let's play a little game. All right, we're gonna let you try, you try at home. I'm gonna show you the fish, you tell me what it is. All right, what is it? Did you say channel catfish? You're right. 
All right, what is it? This one should be easy. Did you say flathead? You're right. And now let's look at this one. What is this? Did you say blue catfish? Well, you're right. All right, having a little fun today, guys, but I thought that might help you out if you're ever out fishing and you're wondering, did I catch a blue catfish? Did I catch a channel? Or did I catch a flathead? And if you caught something that kind of looks the color of a flathead, but it's about that long and has a small head, that's gonna be what we call a bullhead. And hey, they're great eating. They don't get real big, but they're great eating. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. If there's any other um, type of videos like this you'd like me to do, put it in the comments and I'll do my best to, uh, uh, to help you out and, and educate you in, in the area of catfish. I got some work to do. I got a clean fish. God bless. I'll see you next time.